Welcome members of the Board of Trustees, Superintendent Dennis, students, parents, teachers, staff, administration, and alumni. My name is Andrew Smith and I'm the student body president here at the wonderful Boise High School. I'm thrilled that I get to address you all one last time. Boise High has been my place for laughter, learning, connections, and memories these past three years. And I am truly sad that I won't get to walk these halls as a student ever again. In ways that none of us anticipated, this past year has reminded us that our student body occupies a space within a much larger community, locally and on a global scale. The year started with the decision to change our mascot to be more culturally sensitive, and the year ended due to a global pandemic, bringing all school activities to an abrupt end. How we responded to these events is a reflection of what it means to be brave and show leadership in trying times. We started the 2019-2020 school year just having responded to the Shoshone Bannock tribe's request that Idaho no longer uses Native American imagery as their mascots. Boise High School students and alumni have referred to themselves as Braves for the past 100 years. Many alumni had very strong feelings on both sides of the request to update the mascot. I am proud to look back on the day the school board voted in favor of a change. I am particularly pleased that the student body recognized the importance of listening to voices within the community and took action in favor of inclusivity. The inspired shift to the attribute brave keeps it at the forefront of our minds as an, as an empowering attribute that will propel us forward. For those continuing at Boise High, those, saying, those of us saying goodbye, and probably most importantly for those future brave. There are many things that we take for granted in our youth and as citizens of such a great and privileged nation. None of us ever imagined the far-reaching effects the COVID-19 pandemic would have on our daily lives and the rest of our school year when it hit the United States. Plans were well underway for end of year activities. The many efforts of students in music, drama, and clubs were cut short. Athletes who were just gearing up for their spring season unexpectedly returned their equipment. And there were countless assignments that never got finished or turned in as the, school, as the school district shifted to online classes to the extent possible. No one could have anticipated how the stay-at-home order from the governor of Idaho in March would impact the many social circles that thrive as we interact with each other in and outside the school campus. We have all learned that it is our responsibility within the global community to respect our government leaders, trusting that they are acting in the best interest of everyone, even if it comes at a great cost to us personally. I would personally like to thank Mr. Thompson, Ms. Church, Ms. Fornander, and all of my other teachers for a wonderful education. I started every day of my senior year in Ms. Fornander's athletic fitness class. After the first week, I could barely get to my other classes because I was so sore. Ms. Fornander pushes all of her students to be the best they can be. She would say it's good to feel uncomfortable. She taught everyone that quitting isn't an option, even when we had to run the mile on the track in near freezing weather. I will always remember her lesson of perseverance. Over the three years of student council, I've become great friends with Principal Thompson. I saw the tremendous amount of thought he invested into the discussion related to the mascot change. He took very personally the burden of considering all the voices that arose in favor of the change and against it. Mostly he was concerned about how the students would adjust to the change and how we could support them through that confusing transition. He taught me to listen to others and lead by example. And finally, Miss Church. She has been one of my biggest role models throughout high school. Between student council and AP government, she has shown me time and time again that she will always be right. I appreciate everything she has taught me from how to be a thoughtful leader, a good friend, and the various coronavirus conspiracy theories. To all the faculty, custodial staff, teachers, and administrations, thank you. From all the students at Boise High, especially as myself and the rest of the senior class who are moving on to our new adventures, we will always remember what it means to be brave because of you. To all the students continu continuing on at Boise High, please, always try to make Boise High the best high school in the Valley. Here's my advice to the juniors and sophomores. Go to every football game, keep cheering on the dance team, go watch our marching band compete, attend a choir and orchestra concert, go to every school dance, find a new friend, try, try out for a sport, join a club, and be nice to the sophomores. As we have all learned this past year, we really never know what life has in store for us. And this brings me to the seniors. It is unfortunate that the end of our senior year was taken, but the journey that lies ahead, I believe, will be far more exciting and what we have been looking forward to this entire year.
So as hard as this virus is making our school year and summer feel, don't wait life for ha don't wait for life to happen to you. Go on a hike, learn a new instrument, read a book, get a job, find something that will make you happy. Don't let these negative times define you. I wish all of the seniors the best of luck in their next step and thank you and thank them for a shortened but great senior year. Thank you, Boise High community, for letting me say these last few words, and I hope that everyone stays safe, happy, and healthy. Cheers.